Welcome to another video where we're going to be looking at the JavaScript proxy object. So what is a proxy? JavaScript's proxy object allows you to intercept and redefine operations that you can perform on an object. Proxies are made up of three parts, a target, and this is the target object, a handler, and a handler defines which operations can be intercepted and redefined, and then a trap, and a trap is the handler functions. So the traps that we can use are get, set, delete property, own keys, has, define property, and get own property descriptor. So in this video, we're going to build our own proxy object. And by doing this, we're going to have a deep understanding of how proxy works. And we're also going to understand why we might want to use the proxy object instead of building our own. And then we're going to solve a real world problem with proxies. So let's get started learning about the JavaScript proxy object. To use proxies, we're going to say const my proxy is equal to new proxy. And then the proxy constructor takes two arguments, a target object and a handler. So let's define those two properties. So I'm going to say const my object equals an empty object. And then we're going to say const handler is equal to an empty object. And then we can pass these in my object and handler. Now we want to define our own proxy implementation. So I'm going to say function fake proxy. And then I'm going to say new fake proxy instead of the proxy constructor. And then my fake proxy is also going to take the target and a handler. So proxies have lots of different methods on them. They have a get set all these properties here but we're just going to focus on the get and set because these are the two most useful properties on a proxy object. I do recommend checking out the documentation for some implementation examples for these other methods if you wanna have a deeper understanding of how proxies work. So now let's define our own get and set methods on our fake proxy. So I'm going to return an object and I'm going to say get is equal to handler dot get and if we have a handler dot get function then we want to return that handler dot get function otherwise we just want to return a property on the object so the default method is just going to take one argument and this is the property of the object that the user wants to get and then we're going to say target and we're going to get that property by name otherwise we're going to take the custom implementation of the get method defined in the handler. So I'm going to define another function here and I'm going to say property. And then I'm going to say handler get, and then I'm going to pass in our target and our property. So let's try this out. So I'm going to say on my object, we have a name. And this name is going to be Tom does tech. And then I'm going to say my proxy dot get, and we want to get name. So say const name is equal to, and then I'm just going to console.log name. So if you notice at the moment, we don't have any custom implementation of the get method in our handler here. So we're going to fall back to this default implementation here. So let's run fake proxy.js and we get back name and the name is of course Tom does tech. Let's define a custom implementation of our get method here. So I'm going to say get and on my get we're going to have our target and we're going to have our property name. So I want to return your name is and then we're going to have our target and we're gonna have our property. And then I wanna get the value from our target by the property name. So I'm gonna say target, and then I'm gonna pass in property. Let's run this again. And it says name, your name is Tom Does Tech. So it's hitting our custom implementation here. Let's define a set method. So the set method implementation is going to be very similar to get, except we're going to set a property on our target object here. So I'm going to say handler.set 
And if we have handler.set, then we're just going to return handler.set. Otherwise, we're going to get our property and we're going to get our value. Then we're going to say target property is equal to value. So let's remove name from our object and then let's set it. So I'm going to say my proxy dot set and I'm going to set the name as Tom does tech. And then we're going to get the name property from the object. And you can see that we get your name is Tom does tech, but we don't have Tom does tech inside the object. And that's because we set it and then we get it and then we console log it. So this works quite well. However, it would be nicer if you could just say my proxy dot name. And our implementation here is not going to work because we don't have a name property on fake proxy. So this is where we can use JavaScript's inbuilt proxy object. So I promised a real world example of somewhere that you might use proxy. And so we're going to be building a cache. So I have this function here, fetch character from API, which takes a single argument of an ID. And this function is going to fetch a character from the Rick and Morty API with the ID. So let's say const character cache is equal to an empty object. And this empty object here is going to be our target. Now let's define a handler. So I'm going to say const cache handler is equal to an object. And as the name would suggest, this is going to be our handler. Now let's say const get character is equal to new proxy. And our proxy takes two arguments, our target. So I'm going to pass in our character cache as the target and our cache handler as the handler. So what we're going to do here is we want to say const character equal to await get character. So get character is our proxy function here. And we want to be able to get a character by the ID. But if we already have the character in our cache, we just want to return the character out of our cache. Otherwise, we want to call this fetch character from API function and return the result of that function. So let's write the get implementation for our cache handler. So I'm going to say get, and then we're going to say async. And get is going to take our target and our ID. Next, we want to say if target ID, then we want to return target ID. So if the item exists in the cache via the ID, then we just want to return that item out of the cache. However, if the item does not exist in the cache, then we want to fetch it from the API. So I'm going to say const character equal to await fetch character from API, and we want to fetch a character with the ID. Next, I want to put this result inside of our cache so we don't have to fetch it from the API next time. So I'm going to say character cache ID is equal to character. Then we want to return the character. Let's add something to this. So I'm going to just spread the character and then I just want to set a time is equal to new date. So now we're going to know if the character comes from our cache. So let's say console.log character. And this isn't correct. We want to get the character with the ID of one. And then we can get the same character again with the same ID. And then let's log this character out. And what we expect to happen is this first character should come straight from the API. And then this second character should come from our cache. So let's run node proxy. So we have one little problem here. Get character is not a function. And this is something that I've done several times. And 
it's quite confusing because it looks like it should be a function, but it's actually an object. So our ID is going to be a one. So we can just say square brackets and we're just going to get it with the ID of one. And then we can do the same down here. So let's have a look at our response here. So you can see that we have our character and this character doesn't have a time associated with it. And then when we get it again, now we have a time and this is because this character has come from our cache. So let's pretend that we don't want to set the character on the target object inside of the get method. We want to handle this manually. So I'm going to implement a has method. So I'm gonna say has, and then has is going to take the target object and the key. And has is a trap for the in method. So I'm going to show you what that actually means in just a second. So I simply want to return key in target. So this is going to return a Boolean of whether our key exists in our target object. So I want to get rid of this code here. And then I want to say console.log as character with ID one in cache, then I can say one in get character. Let's run our proxy. Has character with ID one in cache is false. So now if we don't have that character in our cache, we want to be able to set it in our cache. So now we can implement a set method and set is going to take three arguments. It's going to take our target, a property and a value. So when we set a property on our object, we just want to log to the console that we're setting that property. So I'm going to say console.log setting property on H. So you can implement anything in this set object here. I'm just going to implement this simple logger to show you how it works. And then we want to say target property is equal to, and we're going to say value, and then I'm going to say new date. And I'm going to set new date as a time property. Let's comment this code out and we can say if not one in get character. So if the character with ID one doesn't exist in the cache, then we want to set it. This code here is not going to work because essentially I'm going to say if not one, which is going to be falsy all the time. And then this code is never going to work. So to fix this, we can wrap this in a Boolean constructor. And then we apply the not operator here onto our Boolean property. So if the item doesn't exist in the cache, then we want to say get character one is equal to character. Then we can uncomment these properties here, run our proxy and we're getting an error here and it's a type error and it says set on proxy trap return false for property one. And the reason is because I forgot to return here. So we need to return this statement here. We can run our code again and you can see that we're getting the item from the cache now. So that is a simple intro to JavaScript proxies. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more JavaScript tips and tricks. If you'd like to join the community, we have a thriving Discord server here and would love to see you there. You can find the invite link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.